Cleaning your car is important for maintaining the quality of the paint and bodywork. Here's our guide on washing it yourself. If you can, pick a shady area or avoid the hottest parts of the day. Too much heat from direct sunlight can cause your shampoo to dry too quickly, leaving streaky marks. You can use a pressure washer, but if you don't have one, a hose pipe with a spray attachment will do. Rinse the car from top to bottom and give the sills and wheels some extra attention. Once you've done this, you can start applying your car shampoo. Be sure to avoid using washing up liquid or other household cleaners as they may damage the paintwork. It's also worth spending a little money on a microfiber sponge. Start with the wheels. If you leave them until later, you can easily splash dirt onto the panels you've already cleaned. Using a wheel cleaner and a brush, clean the wheels thoroughly to get any brake dust and dirt off, then rinse with water. Use two buckets for the wash, one for shampoo and another with clean water to rinse your sponge. Unwanted grit can lead to scratches, so you might want to consider buying a grit guard for your bucket. Once the wheels are done, start washing the roof and work your way down. Make straight lines with your sponge as circular motions can leave swirl marks. Rinse it regularly in your clean water, especially after using it on the dirtiest areas. Once that's done, give the car a final rinse to remove the shampoo, taking extra care in tight spaces like mirrors or grills. Rather than leaving it to air dry, it's better to pat it dry with a towel, which avoids watermarks being left behind. This microfiber towel is particularly absorbent. Your car should be looking great already, but should you want to find out more about the finer points of detailing, head over to our blog, The Driving Seat, linked in the description below.